Hey guys, this is Matt. On today's episode, we are going to give my first impressions of this RX-7. Okay, some of you might recognize this car, and yes, this is the right-hand drive FD RX-7 that Chris built uh, over at B is for Build. I will put a link in the description to his channel. Please check his videos out so that you guys can see where this, this car got its beginnings and you know some of the modifications and work that Chris actually did to this car. Chris had mentioned in one of his videos, he said, Hey guys, you know, if I happen to get these other vehicles, I'm not going to have room and I'm not going to be able to give all my cars the attention they deserve. So I might be thinking about selling the RX-7. So I reached out to Chris and said, hey Chris, I'd love to work out a deal, purchase the car from you. I think I could take it where you kind of left it off and who knows, see where it goes, see what we can do with the engine, see what it actually needs with suspension and, and some of the things. So, you know, after some back and forth, he and I worked out a deal. One of the number one questions you guys are gonna ask is how much should I pay for it? And I'll just say that I probably paid a little bit more than I should have. Um, because I had never seen the car, there's certain things that I just, the videos, the YouTube videos and pictures didn't really relay. And so, all things considered, I probably paid a couple thousand dollars more than I should have, but Chris was kind enough to give me some extra parts that he had laying around that were supposed to be for this project on his channel. Um, and so, you know, maybe I'll be able to incorporate some of those into the projects that we're gonna do here. The car was delivered Tuesday morning uh, this past week, and basically the delivery driver wouldn't drive into my neighborhood. So he, he parked, he unloaded the car on the road outside of my neighborhood. I met him there, picked up the car, brought it here, and so now, there's a golf cart coming. Hello. So, I live on a golf course, so you never know when a golf cart's gonna come randomly driving by. Um, so, where was that? Oh, picking up the car. So I picked up the car, drove it maybe a mile from the beginning of my neighborhood to my house. The car has basically been sitting in my garage since then. I've had to refrain from really doing anything to it, tearing it into it, seeing what I need to do. The car is exactly how it is when I took del delivery of the car. Um, specs on the car, it was manufactured 1992. Um, it is an FD 3S RX-7 right-hand drive. Um, that basically is bone stock on the engine and transmission. It does have a little bit of upgraded suspension. The interior has new seats, new steering wheel, um, otherwise pretty much basically stock. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's take a quick spin around the car, show you the condition that it's in now. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me. I do have a shotgun mic on my camera here, and so ah, we'll see what happens. But uh, I do have the car off, the keys are out of the ignition, and as Chris had pointed out in his videos, I had some difficulty with some of the wiring with the uh, Rocket Bunny LED light kit. So for some reason they stay on actually one's missing one's out here and This one will sometimes be on sometimes flicker on so I basically have just pulled the battery cables just to make sure It doesn't drain the batteries down um, It does look like the spoiler uh, The lip that Chris had installed is gone. I'm not sure if he had removed that or if it got ripped off uh, the grill is missing. I think he pointed that out in one of his videos. Um, it is very, very loose. I am not sure if that is a result of the shipping or if that is just how it is. I know Chris had fabricated some brackets in his videos, but it looks like they are missing. So it seems like there's a good chance that uh, they are they are gone. Um, maybe the, the victim of the tow company, but uh, all things considered, it is dirty. Um, after 25,000 mile trip across the United States, uh, that tends to happen. Um, so, you know, Chris had pointed out when my, when I bought it that he, he would recommend getting some paint work done on it. And, you know, there's some chips here and there. We have some loose rib nuts and some other body attachments that are, you know, maybe due for some replacement or, or to be redone. Um, you know, these, these mirrors look carbon fiber, but it's actually just a sticker. Uh, I'll probably get those replaced at some point. Um, you know, there is some runs in the paint if you can catch that. So it wasn't a perfect paint job, but, you know, Chris basically had 24 hours to get this car painted. So considering the time frame he was on, it actually turned out quite well. And from a distance, you, you really don't notice any of this. Um, you know, there there is some probably some work that needs to be continued on getting clearance for the tires it's it's 
pretty close now, maybe two inches. Of course, it's not squatted down with any weight. Um, you know, the wheels he, are brand new, essentially. There's a little road rash there, but nothing major. Um, you know, the back end actually looks nice and clean. Of course, that's the classic RX-7 look that I think everybody falls in love with when they first see these cars. Has, you know, I think the the duck bill here is a little loose in places. I have found some cracking in the in the and that might need to be repaired. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll keep this this stuff. I might. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I may not keep that long term. Um, again, we got some paint issues maybe a little few loose rib nuts this one's actually come completely apart and actually I, all this is is quite loose um so yeah i mean it's it's it needs a little love um but for the most part it's it's all there um i haven't really dug into too many you know components i i do know that after sitting in my garage i have noticed what appears to be some oil probably from around the diff area and we have some sort of oil leak from the engine um, so those are probably be things i want to look at first see exactly what's going on if i need to track down any parts try to get those on order um, but yeah so that's the car um, as a whole i mean the interior if you watch chris's videos you basically have the gist of what he did here um, it's got these D&D &D performance uh, seats. They're very aggressive. Um, I'll go into a little bit more detail about these or having these uh, in a few minutes. The steering wheel obviously is replaced from factory. Um, you know, there's a lot of little trim pieces that are that are missing that will probably have to get replaced over time. The early spec of the the FDs had, you know, they actually had seats. Uh, you can kind of see it back there. Instead of the instead of the compartments, the the, the you know, little flip-up lid compartments. They did put seats in there, but I mean, pretty much nobody is ever going to be able to ride back there. You know, the car definitely needs a little bit of a cleaning, which I will do probably first thing just to to get it cleaned up a little bit better. But you know, it's a the you know the couple times I have had the car on the road, you know, people just people just stop and stare. It, it's not something people see, especially around where I live. I lived in, in the middle of Kentucky, so. A lot of people aren't going to see an aggressive styled car like this. People aren't going to see the wide bodies and the crazy uh, stance that this car has. But for the most part, I mean, I've had people pull over the side of the road and wave me down and want to look at it. And so, you know, it's, it's in a phenomenal looking car. It does need a little bit of work here and there. Like I said, it's probably going to have the oil leak, a couple of seals here and there. They're going to have to get replaced. But, you know, for all things considered, it's a, uh, it's a very aggressive, very cool looking car. Okay, so now the first thing I want to talk about is my first impressions of having this car. Again, I, I have never owned an RX-7, let alone a right-hand drive car. Um, my car history is varied from Honda Civics to BMWs to trucks. I've, I've owned a, several different types of vehicles, but not right-hand drive and not this small. Um, that was the first thing that kind of caught me by surprise. For reference, I'm about six feet tall, maybe a little taller depending on my shoes. I weigh about 240 pounds, maybe a little bit more depending on how many cheeseburgers I've had. But this car is short and it kind of really caught me off guard the first time trying to get in this car. And it's actually, it takes an art getting in and out of this car. Um, so let me, let me show you that. Okay, so the first time I tried to get in this car, I failed miserably. I think I bruised my thigh. I had my phone in my pocket, which got hung up on the steering wheel. It was a disaster. It probably looked hilarious. So let, let's try this. not gonna work and I've got the seat pushed back as far as it'll go I've actually taken out uh, 
in the seats he's actually got there's extra padding that can come out i've taken out one of the extra layers of padding to help free up some space the seat is just really aggressive it has a really high side the steering wheel is kind of low and it doesn't seem to be adjustable so all right i, got, I think i got this Okay, simply for reference, I have pulled out my 335 M Sport. Um, you know, probably a car most people have seen on the road, pretty common car. Um, and it's, you know, probably a, classified as a midsize sedan in the United States, but you can just get a feel for how small the FD is. I mean, I know it's been lowered a little bit, so, but I mean, it is just a small, small car. and. When people have asked me about the car and my first thoughts and it just drives like a go-kart i mean I, there's no other way to say it it's a high speed go-kart it's uh rides really really tight it's very bouncy i think the suspension needs a little bit of work but you can just see just how tiny it is sorry about sweating profusely it is about almost 90 degrees and humid out here today but you know this is a car that will be featured on the channel um it has had quite a bit of performance mods added to it um i have not dynoed the car so i can't tell you exactly but from similar builds it's probably in the four, 400 450 horsepower and probably similar torque numbers um you know this is my daily driver i try to build it as kind of a a sleeper car even though it's bright blue and, and a little flashy but you know i try to keep this thing uh unassuming but it's, it's tons and tons of fun to drive um you know in in comparison to the the little bit of driving i've done in the fd this this thing just blows me away every day i get in it it's a it's an awesome car awesome platform and these cars are starting to be more available um this body style this f30 body style is um what about five years old now so you have a lot of these cars coming out of warranty probably being very readily available uh, at your local dealerships and of course this has the n55 engine which was the twin scroll uh, turbo uh, single turbo but uh, um, but the n54 engines that were in the previous e90 which i owned an e90 coupe um, e92 coupe um, but the uh, but the the n54 engine platform is just phenomenal the power that people can put out of those things uh, with minimal work and minimal internal work to the engine it's just crazy and actually that's a build i hope to feature eventually um whether that's an e92 m3 or an e92 335 um that we can strip down and and make into a uh you know a nice little uh maybe seven eight hundred horsepower uh sleeper but you know this thing i have to keep it safe it is my 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 go-getter my family car um so that is that that will be featured on the channel hopefully a little bit but for now our main focus is going to be the rx7 uh, before we head off it is memorial day weekend so i would like to take a couple seconds to thank all the servicemen and women that have dedicated their lives to protecting this country and allowing us to do what we do uh, take a second or two this weekend and uh you know we get monday off as a as an extra day but remember why um so anyway Please like and, and subscribe if you would like to find out what we do with this RX-7. Uh, big thank you to Chris over at B is for Build. Please again, go check out his channel, go find out where the beginnings of this car is. Likely you've already seen that, but if you haven't, go follow his videos, check out the series. It was pretty cool. He had about three weeks to kind of get the car from, uh, from what it was being delivered over to the United States from Japan to what you see basically right now. See you guys later.